this hair is a mess um but honestly i just cannot be bothered to brush it today and she's making herself at home as you can tell so it's been a year since i've done this video and i wouldn't say i got a lot of comments on it but i got a lot of views and then recently yesterday i kept watching videos similar to obviously what you're gonna see in the title so I wanted to do a yearly one now. So we're gonna do what's in my makeup kit. Hi, Mish. What's in my freelance makeup kit. I've really upgraded a bunch of stuff in here. There's gonna be a few like bits and pieces that are missing and that's because they're on order and I just don't know when they're gonna get here. So I didn't wanna wait until those pieces were in. So whatever's missing, I'll put a picture in of what I'm having in come in. Like I know the MAC stuff I ordered is back ordered. And then I just ordered the Makeup Forever um, concealers today. Misha, don't even try. She's trying to jump on the counter. Don't even try. Um, so I'll put all of the, like, the pictures of what I got up here, but you will see some things are missing. Uh, but there's a lot of new stuff, a lot of new organization, which is one of my favorite things to do. I am using, you'll see the same bag. I go back and forth between this. The drawers kind of get annoying because I have to bend down to get anything out of here. But I'm slowly realizing that any other bag I get, the only bag I'm going to be able to put on a countertop is going to be the, the like Amazon suitcase looking one. So, you get your bone. She's distracting. Sorry, she's so cute. So, it is the same bag. And then there's some new things, some upgraded things, some new storage and everything ideas if that's kind of what you want to look for. But I'm going to try to find the best angle to like capture all this. But other than that, we're just going to jump right on in okay i think this is the best view we're gonna get sorry my stuff's in the way but um this is the best view we're gonna get if you see misha in the background her tail's right here sorry and then i have a stool here to help bring things out so anyway so the top um again if you haven't seen this case before i'll link the other video but um it's the same case i took out the bread the bread oh my god the brush attachments here because i just i never used it the whole time you saw it up here never went to reach for anything up there so when i redid everything i took that out also what is missing from the other one is the brush belt i don't like brush belts i don't like looking upside down first of all i'm very large and in charge upstairs um so i have to like actually like pull back my chest to like see over what's in there and also looking down like that really makes me dizzy so I usually would prop up my brush belt up on something or lay it flat and I realized it wasn't really working. <laughs> um, brush belts aren't intended for that, they're intended to wear. So instead of the brush belt, I just got this and I got it from Amazon, I'll link it down below. But it's like a protective case for my brushes. It's three compartments. You can change the sizes of it. I have brushes that need to be washed so this is a little empty. But I even have room for some other stuff, but I can literally fold it down like this and then set it on a tabletop so then they're all together. And I just right now, since I haven't used it, I just have it organized by like eyes, fluffy, like non-wet foundation, like not foundation, but face. And then I have like wet face. The only problem I'm having is this brush is way too tall for to sit in here. So it's getting a little bent, which I don't like because I think it looks kind of ratchet the house when you bring that out in front of clients but so far I like it I think there's even room to put some spray bottles that I have in here in here to make it nice and compact but this so far I'm obsessed with it and it has a strap so at least if you wanted to hold it instead of put it in here you totally can um but yeah so then it just zips up it's clear so you can see it's inside and it's easy to wipe down right now because I've seen some videos and some of y'all need to clean out your cases it's a little gross okay but uh, easy to clean, so that was really cool. It was only like 16 bucks on Amazon. I really, really like this. Next we have, which you'll see in my other video. I still have this because I love it. I've labeled it for um, client, clean and dirty. Whatever's clean, it's not necessarily clean. It means I've cleaned it for my next client, if that makes sense. And then I just have brush cleaner, the RCMA. This stuff leaks, so I have to keep it up somewhere. This is where it goes. RCMA foundation thinner, and then I have 90% alcohol and 70%. You need both to properly sanitize, just heads up. And then I also found this. It's this sanitizing mist. It's like a multi-service. Oh, sorry, you didn't see it. It's like, I found it at Target for five bucks. It's like a surface spray to sanitize. So I thought since it's so compact and easy, it fits perfect. 
so that's on the side here usually i take this out with my brushes on the table or whatever i'm setting up on and then in here i that's another thing on order is i have more tissues coming in um so those are coming in but this is the same everything's not expired so far but i have razors perfume lotion wax mints a leave a tide pen tampons um everything's good I have disinfectant wipes, wet ones, I have deodorizing wipes, I have a first aid kit, lint roller, and these are tissues, but these are half used, so I had to buy a whole new kit. And then I have a hand mirror, because of course you need one of those. <laughs> so these go in like this. Super simple. Makeup wipes, because they, you just need them. Uh, I mean, I don't like using them, I don't use them by myself, but they're it's, too, it's easy to use when you're out and about. And then I have, this is something new I got. These are the makeup wipes singles to put into my bride's uh, kits. So at least they have something to take their makeup off because again, a lot of times we break out is because we don't know how to properly wash makeup off, especially if we don't wear it all the time. So that's in there with these. And then we have a few eyeshadow palettes. I have this one I just tossed in there. It has some really cool bronze shades. I It was really creamy and pigmented, so I thought I would just throw it in here. Uh, the Sultry palette. This is one of my favorites. I love this shade called Cyborg. Oh, when you wet it. Oh, so good. It's so good. I love that shade. That's so pretty. And then I have the Tardis Pro palette. This is highlight and contour. I have the Tardis Pro eyeshadow palette. I have this Juvia's Place palette. And the only reason I keep this is because it does have pretty, um, I can't open it, nudes in it. But it also has some pops of color. So I don't need to bring a bunch of color. I have, you know, purple, green, blue, and pink in here. And then also, yeah. I have the Smashbox palette. I love this um, this highlight shade. It's a matte highlight shade. It's so pretty. Um, and then there's some fun ones in here and also some really pretty like glowy bronzers. That one's nice. This one I literally just picked up today. I'm going to try it out on myself, but I threw it in here to see where it fit. This is, okay, like... Look at this. I don't know who Madison Beer is. Like, please forgive me, Jenna Z. I don't know who she is. But I opened this, or I saw it, and I was like, this looks like the most beautiful bridal palette I've ever seen. And I think it was only, like, $18 for this. And, like, I swatched a few of them, and it feels really nice. It's from Morphe. Um, but come on. You got your mobs. You got a black. You got, like, toasty shades. And you got really pretty shimmers for all different types of, like, skin tones. I was like, yes. I, I don't know who she is. But shout out to you, Madison Beer, because I like this palette a lot. And then I have my blush palette, which since you've seen it, I um, got rid of some old blushes and put new ones in. These are all wet and wild. And then this is an AOA one. I heard that this one, I even swatched it. It's like really creamy and pigmented. Um, so those are all in here. And then we also have another favorite of mine is the Tati Beauty palette. I love this one so much. And then I have just like single shades. I don't reach for these very often. And I think one day I am basically just going to toss these because I don't know. I just don't like, like I use this shade a lot, but I don't really use any of, I don't use the single ones. I usually grab a already craft, like specifically crafted palette, but all of that fits up in here. I have no issues. I have some room for more things as you can see, but yeah. Those are all my eyeshadow palettes and face palettes and any palettes like that. Okay, so this angle is really showing you the ADD of my dog. She just pulls toys out and then she goes and sleeps in the corner. But I thought it'd be easier to go over the side pockets with you guys and then dive into the drawers. Um, I still have this on here from when I joined the Kat Von D Pro program. They send you a whole box and this really cute bandana was in it. So now I, I attach it to my makeup kits and then in case somebody else there has the same box or trolley because this is a very commonly used trolley I know which one's mine so that's a little cool thing to do if you're not don't want to like scribble on it or make it look not cute like the scarf is super cute so this pocket is gonna be um, all my stuff to make my bridal touch-up kits I won't pull the other thing out it's kind of hard to put it in and out but they're just like small gray like paper bags I thought that was perfect they're easy to dispose of and then I have these little clear containers from Amazon and I got also from Amazon these little thank you stickers to close the paper bag with. Super cute. All of that is in here and it's easy to get to, it's on the side. And then over here is gonna be all my setting sprays. I just got these two 
today actually. Um, I got the matte and the continuous city mist from Morphe. I have the skin Denavia, Denavia, the finishing makeup spray. This is literally the people that make Urban Decay and you can get better deals on this. So I suggest this. I have a backup that my boss actually gave me brand new. I have, speaking of Urban Decay, I have this. This is the vitamin B6 infused spray. This is kind of like a prep spray, not really a setting spray. I haven't really used it actually. I should probably, I forget it's in here until I pull it out. Um, we have that one. And then we also have this one. This is like a glow refresh mist from Lumine. Lumine? Lumen? I don't know, it's from Target. It was on sale. Um, it's like a vitamin C refresher, kind of like more of a prep spray as well. So those are all the sprays down here. Okay, it's hard to see, but there's two more pockets on this side. These are more square pockets, not long. The top, I have um, all my disposable organized, disposable organized. These ones are really good to put on like glitter. Um, so I keep these in here. I have regular Q-tips, pointed Q-tips, mascara wands, and lip brushes. I don't use disposable eyeliner brushes just because I like my eyeliner brushes brushes and I would rather clean them than have to basically dispose of one of them so this is in here as well as with some disposable cosmetics wedges that's in the top and since i like consolidated that consolidated that into this um plastic thing which i got off amazon i'll link it to it was like six bucks i have more room in here and it's not like busting out anymore with all my disposables this bottom one um stuffed to the brim with these shop miss a wonder blenders these are beauty sponges these are a dollar each so i always stock up on them they're latex free as well so you don't have to worry about allergies but i do not um reuse beauty blenders i don't i refuse to do it i think it's disgusting i hate when i see you guys reusing these because you cannot disinfect these and if your makeup artist is using this you might want to ask them can you use a brand new one or please use brushes on me because you cannot disinfect this and i will always preach this to you guys it's gross and you guys should not be using dirty beauty blenders you shouldn't be using stained beauty blenders because to the eye of a consumer if you see makeup on there even if you've cleaned it to me it's dirty makeup is still in the beauty blender do you know what i mean so do you have a favor and invest in these i just give these to my clients after like if they want them otherwise i toss them it is a little wasteful but i don't always use these on them it's during certain like applications that i prefer to use them um but yeah, so you can even cut them in half and use just half, but it's just too much work for me to cut them. So now I just give these in their kits and they can also for your bridals, your brides, they can use this to like touch up oil, touch like usually I give them some setting powder as well or blotting powder. They can use this to as their little brush to like touch up. So it's pretty good for that and they can reuse them on themselves. You know what I mean? So that's what's on the side pocket and we'll just go to the front. Okay, if you've seen this before, you know how this is set up. It is set up with drawers, so I'm just gonna go from the, the what, what side is this? I'm gonna go from left to right. I think it's opposite on here, but so. This first one is gonna be tools. Um, let me see. I'm just gonna actually, I think I'm gonna move the camera angle. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys it from here. You got the setup, it's all plastic drawers down here. So I'll just pull out each drawer so you can see them because I love, this is my favorite part about watching your guys' videos. Oh my God, there's fuzz. Um, okay, hold on. This is my tool drawer. So I have uh, flat bill clips to clip hair if their hair's already done. I have some leftovers of shadow shields. These are really sticky, so they're not my favorite. Um, but there's one left in here that I could use. And then I have blotting papers. Um, this stuff gets stained so easily. But this is what I use to put in my bridal touch-up kits. I don't use anything fancy. I use e.l.f. And I just toss like five of them in there for them. And then I have an eyelash curler, a normal one. I don't even use this one. So I don't even know why it's in here. Actually, I'm going to put it aside. I don't use that one. I use a different one. I have my stainless steel palette. Oh, look. You guys can see yourself. Stainless steel palette. A must. And then I have hand sanitizer, mints, of course you need those. I have my pinky powder puff to rest on their face instead of my hand. I have a brand new color switch. I got a new one in a boxy charm or a fab bit. So I toss the gross one and put the new one in. I have, so this is like a little, it's a Smucker's like 
or whatever this brand is. It's a, a mini like fig jar. Like, no, a mini, oh, I can't speak, a mini jam jar. I got this from, um, I got this from like the HelloFresh boxes because they always do little small portion things out. So I saved a couple of these and this is what I put my brush cleaner in. It turns very tight so nothing leaks out of this. And every job I just empty it out if I use it. If I haven't used it then I'll just keep it but I'll empty it out and refill it with some of the Cinema Secrets brush cleaner. So I have brush cleaner in a spray and then I have it to dunk because sometimes things just need to be dumped. Um, pencil sharpener this is i'll link these down on amazon these are amazing honestly this comes in a set of four and they're these plastic frosted um basically like little storage boxes but they're so slim but they can fit a lot so in here i have like scissors the eyelash curler that i actually use it's a clamping one um tweezers extra eyelash um squeegees which i think these are for the other one but that's okay um and then some razors i obviously you can't reuse them and then my stainless steel palette like scooper duper um so that all goes in here and it's really convenient and then at the bottom i have these are kind of like shadow shields but elf so if i need to make a wing line trust me guys i don't even bother freehanding it i don't have time usually to sit there and like fix my mistakes so uh that's that so that's all up in this top drawer Okay, so this is the uh, second drawer. So it goes left, right, and then down to left, right, left, right. If you even care, it doesn't really matter. But this is the other top drawer. This is where I have all my skin care and kind of like adhesives, primers kind of thing. So we have um, some MAC strobe cream. I have it in the smaller size. I have this Coors Mattifying Primer. I actually really like this. I have a couple of Becca um, Backlight Priming. I have the purple and the normal one. I have a couple of those. Again, those are travel size. It's really great to get travel size because you can fit more variety in here, and I love variety. Um, I have the professional, the full size, because it came. It actually came in a, um, I think a boxy charm. I don't know. It was full size, and I was like, that's rad. So I put it in my kit because I know I won't use it on me. I have the Embryolis um, Concentrate Moisturizer. This is a go-to. I also have Tarte Marula Oil or Maracula, oh, Mar 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 oil. Um, I like to use this if somebody really needs a hydro. So I've used it on lips before. It's not something I use all the time, but it's good to have. I had one girl, she was getting a little crepey under the eyes. So I lightly put this on the beauty blender and kind of started pressing it in and that helped a great deal. I also have this mini natural radiance prep and pine in yellow. Again, a little mini, it came in a set and that's why it's like this. It came in a set with this mini fix plus, which I have in here too, I obviously. I like Fix Plus. I have Witch, Witch Hazel as a toner. It's affordable and it's natural and I usually people don't have problems with it. I have the Soft Ochre Prolonged Paint Pot. I had the ABH um, one in here, but I don't like that one. That one is really, really like drying. Like it's strange because you would think this would be dry. That one's really dry and it's really, really ashy. Like when you blend it out, I just don't like it. I have a NYX Glitter glitter glue and then I also have this new one this is the ABH glitter adhesive so I have two of those I have the new Mario um, master metal manipulator I haven't fully used this yet um, but I want to but it's in here I have a lip primer from Mac I have a scrub in case someone's looking real crusty the house I have an elf little sugar scrub and then I have under eye patches to hydrate anybody's eyes. I don't, I haven't used these yet and I don't know why, I don't know why I get nervous to use them, but I need to because I just think it'd be an added like thing to really treat your brides to. So those are in there um, and that's just the whole top drawer. All right, next drawer is gonna be brows and liner. And I also forgot to mention, I actually have labeled my drawers. <laughs> so this is brows and liner. And again, this is the two other cases that come in it. This one holds all my lashes. I've cut the lashes out of their boxes so they fit in here. I could fit more in here too. Um, but these are like my go-to lashes. Those are all Ardell lashes. So they fit in here and they're closed and secure. And then I also have, this is a box for eyeliners. So anything eyeliner related, it's in here. My liquid eyeliner, pencils, jumbo crayons, that's all in here. And I don't have to keep, I was keeping them in a rubber band 
which is kind of ghetto, but you know, you had to do what you had to do. But this I'll link on Amazon. It was like $10 for all four of these in a set. And then I have, um, this is where things kind of changed drastically for me. I no longer use powder on my clients for eyebrows. I just don't like the way it looks. I need something stronger. Usually I need something that's like more dense and are more opaque than powder. Um, so I just have these ColourPop. These ones are really nice. These ColourPop brow pomades and I love using these. So I have them in Champagne Blonde, Dope Taupe, Granite, and Coca-Cola. So basically blonde, blonde to light brown, um, like dark haired clients. This is basically always black and my um, like dark brown, medium brown clients. So those all go there. And then I have, um, I moved on from the Maybelline um, and I have, I use the Voluminous Mascara now. I have Waterproof and then these two, one of them is hasn't been opened yet, but just regular black mascara. And then I have a couple brow gels. I'm going through these. These are the fibers from Essence. These are okay. They don't really give hold though. Um, I do like it to make a dimensional brow. So that's in there. I have, I don't know where my clear duo lash glue went, but this is a black one. And I, I like this black one better. It's latex free and it has like this as an applicator, not a brush. And it works so well. And this dries so much quicker than the other clear latex one. So I'm not sitting there forever. And then I have a couple brow gels. This one is the NYX Control Freak, but I just picked this one up. It's the Milk um, Kush Glear Clear Brow Gel. Oh my God, I wish I could use that little brush. It's so cute. But um, I'm hoping this, this doesn't have that much hold. And I'm just still, I'm just still not at a point where I want to dish out 20 bucks for ABH <laughs> brow gel yet. So hopefully that one is better. But yeah, this all fits up in here. Um, and I have room to expand. Like I'm probably going to add a couple more eyebrow colors. But yeah, no more eyebrow powder. I don't have that in here. I don't have any more. Um, I had these in here. These e.l.f. brow pencils. I used it once and I hated it. I did not like them. I just thought it was just, it's too annoying to use a pencil. So this is where we're at for brows. Next one is kind of, um, it's labeled concealer, but it's not just concealer. It's concealer and bronzer and kind of like creamy highlight contour products. So this one is not finished because a lot of these are getting replaced with, um, I just ordered them today, is the Makeup Forever HD concealers. I got approved for their 40% off pro, so that makes everything super affordable on that site. So I grabbed like five concealers. Um, so I don't know when they'll be here, obviously. So... These Makeup Revolution ones, they are not my favorite, <laughs> I'm going to be honest. These ones, and I actually already tossed one out because I got replacements of that color. The ColourPop ones, I don't care for these. These are really crepey, these wrinkle really easily, and I find myself doing so much work to keep these blended. So it was something I was never happy with in my kit, but I was able to make it work, but it was just time to upgrade. So these are in here because I don't know when I'll get them. Um, and I don't want to not have concealer for my brides coming up. I don't know how long it takes makeup forever to ship. So these are the ones I just don't recommend them, but they're good to start out with. Um, I have this locket one from Kat Von D. This is literally to lighten anything. It's just white. Um, I still have the time balms from the balm. I do like these, but I don't use them often because they are for deeper complexions, but I like them a lot. <clears throat> Excuse me. These ones are new. I just got these ones. Um, today actually but uh the naked skin i do like these better i've swatched them next to each other with the color pop and these ones kind of like really mesh into the skin whereas the color pop and makeup revolution sit on top of it so that's why it's kind of hard to get it into the like creases into the under eye without it looking crepey so these ones and they have these are the deeper shades because i bought a lot of the lighter shades for makeup forever those are in here and then I also have this one. I'm so excited. I've been starting to use this. This is the, um, what is this called? Master Secret Glow by Makeup by Mario. And if you didn't know, he does a pro program too. And I think it's 30% off for pros. So I didn't buy this on the pro program. I bought this at Sephora, but I have eyeliners coming in. I forgot to mention, I have his two black and brown eyeliners coming in from him to put in my kit. Cause I need some good black and brown eyeliners. But this is really nice. I use my finger with this. Um, and tap it on the skin and it really like gives you like a glow but i will say if you put highlighter on and you use this on top it kind of pulls the highlighter off so i'm still kind of working with it if that makes sense so that's in here 
Um, let's see. And then these are, oh, I'll show this. I still have this. I do use it occasionally for people that want extra contour. The Shade and Light Contour pa Palette by Kat Von D that's in here. I won't take it out because you probably know what it looks like. And then these are new. I got the ABH Pressed Powder Bronzers. Um, I got Tawny. This is Saddle. Oh my God, these are such luxe feeling though, if you haven't felt these, these are very luxe feeling. And I have a cappuccino, so a little bit of different variety. Um, and then there's a couple, There's I think there's a deeper one I wanna get of this one. So that is kind of like the concealer slash bronzer slash cream, cream area. <laughs> Okay, so this is literally called Eyes, and this is basically my um, bits and bobs of eye stuff that doesn't, it's not in a palette, it doesn't fit into a palette. So I have some individual lashes. I have, I consolidated my Baddington, these are some like Lux lashes. Oh shoot, they're sticking everywhere. Um, I cut them down so because I had two pairs and I didn't want two boxes in here. So I consolidated these down and I kept the lash glues in here so that way if I have a bride that does use these, I can give her the lash glue. Um, just kind of like a, a luxe upgrading kind of thing. I have a couple of eyeshadow pods. This one's really pretty. This is the ColourPop. This was a limited edition. It's in Birthday Cake. This adds such a really pretty twinkle on the eye when you do a bronze look. I have a couple of these. Some of these I don't use, but I just... I like them in here. I have some loose glitters. Um, I have the black and brown by MAC. I have a couple of NYX loose glitters. And then I just picked this up. This was actually a TJ Maxx. They all look the same, but they're not. They're like reflex of like green or silver or gold, or this one's like a green. I can see the green in it, but um, these are the loose glitters. It came in a set with that glitter glue and I was like, oh my God, I wanna play with them. So they're in here. I have another kind of blue I'm actually gonna take this out I don't know why I have that in there it's a loose powder it's blue black but I have the MAC one and I feel like that one is if someone wants it they want that one moving on I have a NYX glitter liner this was on sale so I bought it so um it's in the gold or champagne I don't know crystal ball is the name so that one's good to have I have a couple of these these are all new to my kit this is the liquid eyeshadows not the glitters from Stila I have it in Jezebel and Kitten so these are good as like a primer to put down and then I have the actual glitter and glows this one I've always had so it's almost out but I have them in these three colors it's Kitten Molten Midnight I think yeah Molten Midnight and I think this one is Gypsy so I have these to add like some glitter on top of things and it's like easy to use but yeah, so put this all away. <laughs> this is like my little my little glitter drawer. I like it. It's fun. It makes me happy. All right, this is one of the major ones that um, got a complete overhaul. So I still have my RCMA foundation palettes. I do like these, um, but that's all that's in here. There was I was using the Soap and Glory Kick-Ass Foundation, which is nice, I'm gonna be honest, but I want to really justify pricing, and if you wanna upgrade your pricing, you need to upgrade some stuff, and this, they don't even sell this anymore, so I am selling it, so <laughs> I haven't used a bunch of it, I just bought it all, and then I also had these shade adjuster drops in here, but I don't need them anymore because I purchased, I'll put a picture of it up here, I purchased the MAC Pro Foundation Palette, so that's coming, and then I'm also going to eventually get the Face Atelier whole set. And again, they both have pro discount codes, so you need to sign up for them if you're trying to save some cash. And then I also had, um, I think that's it, yeah. So my MAC one, it's back ordered, so it'll be here in a week and a half. It's just the Foundation Pro Palette, so that'll go in here, as well as um, I'll probably do some rearranging so I can fit more powders in here or move the bronzers up here. Um, but eventually my face atelier would probably go up in here because the other one's like this size. So I'll probably put face atelier and I think maybe one day I'll do airbrushing, but excuse me. Um, that's it. So this looks bare. I can get by with clients just using this. I have the foundation thinner and luminous, um, primers to mix with it. So it just looks sad. It has its own little drawer. So there you go. 
All right, this is my powder drawer. Um, actually, this needs to go in with the bronzers. This is the Give Me Sunshine, Give Me Sun by MAC. I love this bronzer. This is the RCMA um, powder, the translucent powder, but I think when you guys saw it, it was in its original packaging. I bought this pack of two sifters off of Amazon. I'll link them down below. And this makes the application so much easier um, because it's a tradition. Oh my God. It's a traditional sifter. I just got powder over there. Um, so I have that, and then I have this one. Dude, I, this drawer gets so dirty because it's powder. Um, this is the Kat Von D Peach. This is a good setting powder for deeper skin tones. And then I have, this probably has to go in the other drawer. This is a mini version of the T Chocolate Soleil from Too Faced. Mmm, still smells good. Um, is it chocolate silly? Yeah, it's the medium deep bronzer, but this isn't a deep bronzer. We all know that. This is like a medium bronzer. Um, goes with probably my other one. And then I have a couple of Fit Me powders. These are actually really nice powders. I think I might eventually um, depot these into something smaller because as you can see, this takes up half the tray. Um, and I would love to be able to put like my bronzers in here, so it would be an all powder drawer. Um, but Alas, I have deep, medium deep, and light medium, and I have the deeper shades because I only have the peach shade, and I use the translucent on a lot of my lighter clients as it is. And then I have this Makeup Revolution Luxury. Um, it's banana powder, basically. I don't know. I haven't actually had a chance to use it. It's still, yeah, it's still brand new. So, but I just thought I should have it in here. I think a good banana powder. And then these are new. Again, you can get this whole set at TJ Maxx right now. They're brand new. This was from their holiday collection, but these are the, the ABH Loose Highlighters. And it comes in Sunset Aura, which is good for, like, deeper skin tones. It comes in So Hollywood. This is such a pretty glow. It's like a golden -y glow. And then Snowflake, which is good for people who are really pale. And these are just so freaking cute, you guys. And it was, like, 17 bucks for a whole kit of these. So they all fit in, like, nicely in here i wonder if i can fit this like this there we go oh nice very nice um so that is the powder box all right this is our last box and this one's also getting an overhaul too um nothing's missing so far but i ordered again i'll put a picture i've ordered the mac um lip palette in the nudes um so again i'll put a picture of it so that's still that's on back order as well so that's coming in depending on how well i like that palette i might order more of them um, but those are like traditional lipsticks as opposed to like liquid lips and stuff so again this is the fourth container that came in that set which the original reason why i got this was for lip liners i was tired of having them all rolling around in here the rubber band broke i was over it so now all my lip pencils are in this cute little drawer i can even fit a few more in here but they're all nudes cranberries and pinks um that are in there then i have the lorac alter ego lip glosses these became in a set at nordstrom and it was for their like brunch collection if you guys remember that these smell so good and it came in a variety of nudes so these are all for my lip glosses as well as this balm one the balm which is like i think a more pigmented lip gloss i haven't used it yet but yeah that oh and i also have this one's so pretty it's like a dupe for the fenty beauty one this is the revolution i don't even think they make this anymore but that's the lip topper and this is it's in the color luxurious this is so freaking pretty you guys um, so that is all my lip glosses in the kit. And then I have a few bold lips. I have the NARS. This is the Bare Essentials, um, liquid lipsticks. And then I have a variety of ABH ones. I just purchased, um, a bunch of these to replace my, I threw them out a long time ago, but I totally kept forgetting that I don't have liquid lips that are nude. <laughs> so it was really annoying. Um, so I replaced all my other liquid lips with the ABH ones. Again, just a variety of nudes. This one is Starfish, Crush, Stripped, Naked, and then this is a red in Heathers. This one's such a pretty color. Um, all those. And then this one. Um, so I wanted to ball on a budget and do a lipstick palette. And this did its job, but the tape from the magnets is starting to wear off from this, and it was just becoming a pain. I also need to... This is all 
except for this one that's is newer it's just trash like it's all old lipsticks that just need to go so that's why i purchased the mac one and then i'm just gonna keep the tin for something and throw out everything else and give it a really good wash but this did the job it was 10 bucks on amazon i won't link it because to be honest i don't recommend it it was just really annoying that things would move in here just get the pro card and buy like the i think it's views are or something that one um this one is I don't remember the color. This is an ABH lipstick. It's so freaking pretty. So this is the only one that I'll keep, but everything else is getting tossed once my MAC one comes in. So that's that, and it sits at the bottom. Just like that. Liners. Oh, I guess it doesn't fit. Liners, so that's how all this fits. Um, but every time I'm at TJ Maxx or anything, I always see their ABH liquid lipsticks because I usually collect them. And I always, what you want to do at TJ Maxx is you want to open them and make sure that they've never been opened. Otherwise, you can't use them. It's kind of gross. Um, but I even, that's where I got this NARS one too. It's never been opened. I obviously have swatched it, but it's such a pretty like plum color. Oh, so that's in here in case somebody wants like a vampy vampy color and then you can also mix these two so that is all of those okay I put my hair up because it was getting way too hot for that but that is my entire makeup kit I hope you guys enjoyed it all and everything I just thought I would update everybody and how it looks after a year I'm always going through it I'm always adding new things I'm always becoming re-inspired. I mean, half of what made me want to do this and start upgrading stuff was that I honestly started thinking about next year not taking makeup clients anymore. Makeup stresses me out. I know, I know, I know. But I think it was stressing me out because there were just some things I just didn't love in my kit. Um, like the concealers, I hated them. Like here's a couple, like this no filter concealer, hated it. The ABH, I have them over here because I'm giving them away because they're barely used. Um, eye primer, hated it. Like there was just a bunch of stuff. I bought this whole palette. I got excited. This was in there originally before the ABH ones. This is the, it's a bronzer and these are found like powder foundation at the bottom. Hated it. It was so hard to build color with it. Like I just hated it. So I just went out and I just started upgrading it at all. And especially if you have a business license, you're able to write off all those for taxes. But now I'm feeling inspired, so I'm excited for things to come in. I'm probably gonna add some more things, probably more um, lip palettes and liquid lipsticks. Um, I like to have everything. So go ahead, leave me your favorite stuff down below that you like to use when you're working on brides. That's basically all my clientele is brides. Um, I don't do like sets or commercials or anything like that. I do bridal work, like I can't even say majority. I do bridal work and maybe some proms. Um, but yeah, that is, that was that, you guys. So if you like. Alright, other than that, I will see you guys later. Bye.